Add your Yarbo. Add Yarbo Core. Choose the Snowblower module as your Yarbo module. Make sure to complete the assembly and power on your Yarbo before starting the mapping process. After assembly, link your Yarbo. Tap to link your Yarbo with your account. Congratulations on completing the installation and linking of your rover. You can now control Yarbo here. Next, tap Add Map at the bottom to begin the yard mapping process. Before mapping, make sure you have the data center and docking station set up. Assemble the data center. Ensure the data center is assembled correctly as the instructions. After assembly, select your data center to connect it. Once connected, choose a location with a strong GPS signal. An excellent signal indicates a good GPS location. Make sure the data center is securely screwed in place, with the antenna having at least a 120 degrees view of the sky. Once installed, approach your rover to initialize the data center. The initialization takes about one minute. During this time, your data center will blink red. Once it turns green, the initialization is complete. Install the docking station. Follow the instructions to choose the docking station installation location. Ensure a strong network and GPS signal in the area. Drive Yarbo to the designated location and click Here Is. Continue with the installation and power up the fixed docking station. Ensure the side with the lightning icon is facing up, then position the docking station in your desired location. Secure it firmly in place. For soil or grass, use grass pegs. For concrete or brick, use expansion bolts. Finally, Save the docking station position. Back the Yarbo onto the docking station. Click the Save Position button. Congratulations, all preparatory work has been completed. Now we can begin mapping your yard. Before beginning, please read the mapping preparation carefully. Ensure Yarbo is docked at the docking station, then tap Start. Upon starting, Yarbo will automatically depart from the docking station Please proceed with caution. Creating area. We will now define the boundaries of the work area. Use the app's joystick to navigate Yarbo to the desired perimeter of the work area. Please ensure that the network icon and RTK signal icon are consistently green. There is no need to worry about drawing an incorrect area as it can always be redrawn. You don't need to manually map the entire area. Clicking Next will automatically close the working area. After defining the boundary, set the snow throwing direction for the work area. Slide along the boundary to select the desired snow throwing direction. Yarbo will throw snow in the specified direction during operation. Next, configure parameters for the work area. Customize Yarbo's speed, overlap, module minimal height, and other parameters to optimize snow removal efficiency. Congratulations on completing the work area mapping. Let's proceed to map a pathway. Creating pathway. To ensure Yarbo can return to the docking station, draw a pathway connecting the work area to the docking station. When Yarbo reaches the docking station, we should tab the Next button to move on to the next step. After mapping the pathway, set the snow throwing direction. If not specified, Yarbo will default to forward snow throwing on the pathway. Slide along the pathway boundary to select the snow throwing direction. Configure parameters for the pathway. Customize Yarbo's module height and other parameters for each pathway as needed. You've successfully completed the basic map setup. To add or modify maps in the future, visit the Modify section to explore more features. Executing the plan, return to the homepage to create a new work plan for Yarbo. Tap the plus icon and select the areas you want to include in this work plan. Then, tap the Confirm button and assign a name to the plan. Please start the work plan. Initiate the work plan by tapping the Start button. Yarbo will autonomously exit the docking station. Please proceed with caution.